2020 Friday continues once again. Barbara Walters. We've all heard stories of people who say they were driven nearly crazy by voices in their head, distracting them, commanding them to hurt themselves, occasionally to hurt others. But now for the first time, you can actually experience for a few moments what these people live with as they struggle with the illness known as schizophrenia. Dr. Timothy Johnson has news of an amazing futuristic breakthrough that puts you inside a tortured mind. What is it really like to see strange visions and hear bizarre voices? Without being schizophrenic themselves, doctors could only imagine what patients were describing. But now there is a way for experts to truly get inside the mind of a schizophrenic. So just put it up. Using the technique of virtual reality, Janssen Pharmaceuticals has developed this device to stimulate the visual and auditory hallucinations of a schizophrenic patient. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I had to take a phone call. There's nothing wrong with you. You're the one in control. It works like this. The viewer looks into the goggles and watches an animated virtual scenario. Are you okay? You seem distracted. Have you been seeing anything unusual? Your notes What's wrong with you? Letting this one tell you you what can't do, do anything. Right. What the viewer sees is called walk in their footsteps. And it puts the viewer, in this case me, into the shoes of a schizophrenic person visiting the psychiatrist while being barraged by constant hallucinatory images and voices. You mentioned having trouble getting to sleep last night. How have you been sleeping? As I watch this, it's incredibly distracting so that if I were having to try to really focus on what this doctor is saying to me, I would find it almost impossible, I think, with all these noises and sights. But what was only distracting for me was downright frightening for Ken Steele. Okay. When Ken put on the goggles, he was emotionally thrown back to the time he could not escape the visions and voices. Within moments, he started to panic, sweating, and hyperventilating. Last time, you were talking about volunteering. There he See? is. There's the one. Have you spoken to them yet? Oh, uh, it feels like what you can remember going through? Very much so, Doctor. Yes, I remember this. And that kind of distortion. Yeah, yes. The doctor would yes, look like yes, that yes, to yes. you. Yes. This, yes. Uh, this. Uh. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Tim, that was extraordinary to see and hear what it is like for a schizophrenic. That's really the way it is? Well, I could hardly believe it myself the first time I saw it, that time at Yale with Ken. So I turned to him after he had seen it, and I said, Ken, is that really what it's like? It seems so unbelievable. Mm -hmm. He said, Tim, that is what it's like.